How's it going guys? Kava here. Today I wanted to go over using and creating your own loop filters. Specifically if you're trying to start a loop filter that is going to show only gear for a whatever character you're playing and you're looking for specific gear or you're making a, a, a loop filter for SSF for example. So first things first, you go into the filter button over here on the upper left or upper right rather, click filter at the bottom. Um, if you see here you can um, when you go to create a new filter, you can either create from either another build code that you're already using from someone else or from a template or from a brand new one. My recommendation is to just either create from a template or from a shared code. Um, check on the Discord. I have mine up there um, that is base, and then I have this specific one now that I've made specifically for Gemma 1 or Gemma 2 Terra only, like for SSF. Um, it basically is going to hide anything that isn't Gemma gear. Um, but let's go ahead and look into this and we can kind of show you what you do once you have actually created a filter from here. So if you were to create from a template, it's going to ask you which template you're creating from. And then if you wanted to select that, if it's an early game filter, you would go off of intermediate. Um, or if you're, if you don't have the advanced auto loot from the battle pass, you just want to use junior filter and then modify it from there. Um, but let's go ahead and look into the filter I've already created here, which is um, this one here, which I have basically modified it specifically for Gemma. Uh, pretty much editing the filter, it is can be fairly time consuming depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but it does give you the tools necessary in order to make it show you specifically only what you want to see and hide everything else. So say for hero memories, for example, we could go in here and we could set this to where if it doesn't have at least um, double T1 or even if it does have double T1, we can set it to where we can make this something impossible, right? To where um, if it doesn't have at least um, three T1 mods, which is impossible, then it's just going to hide it, right? Um, so we wanted to hide every single memory this way. Then we can make it to where the rules that are going to be on top are going to show first, right? So if we only wanted to see memories here that were um say for example we're only looking for memories here for gemma 2 and we want this to be um a frost ember here and under the condition groups we only want to see um a minimum of two t1 mods here so maximum here t t1 so they both need to be t1 mods and we're looking for freeze effect or we're looking for frostbite um right here cold pulse inflicts frostbite or we're looking for um yeah this frostbite inflicted and that's it so it needs to have two of these um preferably honestly just freeze effect in this one if it's not double t one of this we don't really want to see it um you can adjust this like if it's earlier on you might want to see like you might want not want to adjust the some of their levels right you could leave that as some of six or whatever to where you're just looking for anyone, and then as you get the one, then you start looking for better and better and better. You'd modify it from there. And pretty much now that you have this set up, um, this kind of thing, if you are trying to do this as like a really, really strict filter for SSF, this is kind of the way you'd go about it. Um, so I did the same thing here, as you can see for um, Divinity Slates. If it doesn't have at least a legendary medium talent, I don't want to see it. It's pretty much useless. Everything else, it's just hidden because if it doesn't have at least basically I could even specify this further and ensure that I only see slates that are either like plus one to focus or plus one to levels or whatever it may be. Um, if I wanted to, I don't mind leaving it like this because there are some other ones for other things that, you know, um, they do have some value and you just don't realize they do. So I don't mind it cause you don't really see that many slates anyways. Same thing for skills. You could hide it to where it only shows level 21 skills or only precise, whatever. For soul candles, same thing. I set it to where it only shows like soul candles with the T1 mod. Everything else is hidden. And then for legendary items, I made specific um, higher ones that showed um, better uniques in a different way. And then I just basically hit everything else. Um, there's a couple straggler things that I left through, as you can see, just for corruption. But uh, pretty much those are hidden as well. In regards to individual gear here. Um, my recommendation is to do the same thing for every single slot here. Um, so say if you had a specific slot you wanted to, say we were looking for intel mitts here, you would make sure you select this 
mod over here that says gear type. You have to set this to end helmet. And then when you click the condition group here, this is where you adjust. You want to set this to ensure that it has however many, if you want it this to have to require at least one or two of these mods, you can set this to one or two. Early on, you might set it to one. Later on, you might change it to two. Um, for me, I have this set right now as long as it has one mod at basically at T1 of any of these four, then I'm fine with seeing it. Realistically, this should be changed to two. Um, I only want to see two mods. And if you do want to change this maximum here, you do need to make sure this matches, right? Because it's going to add up the two affixes and ensure their total level is two, right? Which would mean they'd both need to be T1. If you left that at one, then you wouldn't see any items. Um, and then you just go through and you do this for every single um, slot of gear, right? So for this one, um, I actually didn't actually set a specific type here. This needed to be changed to weapon, but these mods can only appear on weapon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But under gear type here, we can set this over here to staff. Because this is basically looking for a staff with double T one of these. Um, this one here is going to be um, just generic everything. I'll see anything with triple T one. Like You're not really going to run into those, but if you see them, you might as well pick them up. Maybe you could sell them. And this one's for necklace. Um... And then we have the one going over here for uh, belt, for ring, for gloves. Uh, and you just go through every single slot, depending on whatever you're looking for, for your build. And then you can just set everything else to basically say, if it doesn't have at least T three uh, T1 mods, to just hide it. One thing I do recommend is if you are uh, going to be messing around with your filters like this, or wanting to change things, I recommend getting into a map or something like this where you are... Um, where you do have a bunch of items on the ground so you can kind of get a test for what things you've applied here um, to your filter um, and that way you can hide everything else so as you can see here I'm still seeing a lot of um, I'm still seeing a lot of things here because I don't think I even have this applied here let's see so for hero memories we can set this to um, three affixes with a total tier of two. Oh, greater maximum two. There we go. So I don't want to see here memories that don't have double T1 or triple T1 rather. Um, that way it should be start hiding these. And same thing for um, relics or whatnot here. So that's hero memories. Um, frost embers are shown. Hide memories. Uh, oh, if it contains a um, we want it to have a oh, I guess if their total tier is um, yeah contains any amount of fixes or want to fix that has a total tier of um, that is greater than two or greater than one even. Two affixes greater than one. Should hide them now. There we go. Having items to test on the ground like this is um, really nice to ensure that you do have your filter set up properly. So I do recommend you do this if you are making like drastic changes um, from something you haven't done before. As you saw, I was just making a few adjustments to things there and um, I was um, still seeing memories or relics that I wasn't really intending to see here. So let's make sure we got to do this as well. Um, so let's go ahead and change this as well and ensure that we adjust this too. Uh, if they have um, two affixes that has a total tier of greater than two, then I don't want to, well, even greater than one, right? Because I don't want to see any relics here that aren't the specific relics that I pointed out here. So we want to make this an impossible scenario, right? Um, so if it has any mod here that has a one affix that is greater than, t um, yeah, if it contains any affixes, basically, um, if it contains two affixes here, oh, sorry, two affixes, 
that have a total of their till of their tier um, adds up to greater than one, which basically would mean it would need a a relic here that has a T0 and a T1, which T0 is not possible. So we can just make these hidden here. Um, yeah, it, you can make this even, there's a lot of ways to just tell it to hide them. Um, if you did want to create a new filter to hide under drop style name here, you just click this button here, check this, this is hidden drops. And this would basically make drop style hidden for whatever it is. Let's go and delete this. And then if you do have filter rule orderings, again, whatever rule is on the top is the rule that will take place over the other ones. It will only fall through to the next rule if it doesn't match one of the prior rules, basically. Um, so say we had this one, it was going to show them this color, and we had another, like, one that had the exact same thing, but it showed it as another color. The one that it hit first would take precedent, and it basically, if it doesn't match the first filter rule, then it's going to keep going down and searching through the rest of them, but it won't go further down unless it didn't hit the first filter rules. Um, in regards to... Um, Legendary items, again, I highly recommend you just go through here and you can use their preset like um, filters here for each specific um, type right here, right? To where I just like clicked on all these other helmets here. So it's like, I don't want to see challenger headbands. You know, I could check on each one of these individually and hide all of them. Um, but you just go through the list here and hide the legendaries you don't want to see. So for example, I probably don't really care to be seeing... Um, one ended hammers anymore. I don't really need to see interlocking soles anymore. I can hide these in here now. And then same thing with grace boots, which I think are dex boots. Um, I could go in here and I could hide these as well. Uh, nope, they're int boots. Int boots. Go in filter conditions and under base selection here. We can go ahead and um, hide these grace boots now as well. And um, click confirm. So these are good good starting off points. Um, you can kind of use this to kind of get a feel for how the filters work as well. Uh, if you have any specific questions or again, specific types of um, filters that you're trying to make and you need help with, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Uh, hopefully these filters get updated to where they work globally because right now I can share this on EU, but it doesn't really help people if they're not on EU. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And other than that, See you in the next one.